Hi everyone, it's Mike Simmons, WordPressHowTos.com. Now, if you've ever used WordPress, then you most likely have switched themes at least once. If this is your first time, then you'll get even more from this WordPress tutorial how-to video. Now, WordPress makes it really effortless for you to change themes. It's just a couple clicks and then you're done. But just picking a new WordPress theme and clicking Activate is not the best way to change themes if your current site has any content at all. You need to know not only how to change a WordPress theme, but what things need to be done before you change your theme in WordPress. In this short video, I'll not only show you how to change and install WordPress themes, but I'll also go over a checklist of things that you should do before changing your WordPress theme. These action steps are vital to ensure the procedure goes without a hitch. Otherwise, you can easily end up losing components of your site that you did not intend to lose. One of the very cool things about WordPress is the WordPress themes. And you can have just you know you can change the look of your site totally by changing themes. But like I just said, it's not always just a matter of simply clicking install and activate and then you have a new site because there are quite a few things you need to be look at before you do go about that that simple process of actually changing and installing your theme. I have a checklist here. I have backup right here at the top because I think it's very important hence the two exclamation points you don't want to lose anything you know heaven forbid that you you change your theme and then something goes wrong and you lose all your sites content so please back up. I use Backup Buddy, but you can also, there's several free uh, versions out there along with other paid versions of uh, Duplicator is a free backup plugin that works pretty good for small to medium sized sites, not too complicated. You can also back up using your cPanel. I have a video on how to do that. Now here's another point that I think is important what I do anyway. Any site that you really want to try to change themes, change plugins, make changes on, I like to have a test site that I make of the same theme and everything else, you know, so I can test things on it first. I put it on a subdomain, which is a simple process, and I also have a video on my channel about how to make a subdomain. That way when you make changes, say add a new plugin or even go changing your whole theme, uh, you do it on your test site first just to see what happens and what, what configurations you have to go about doing. Now also, another point is you're in your current theme and you've made any customizations, a lot of times people will go check online and find a little snippet of code that they'll enter into their site files and a lot of times people will not make notes of that or you know especially you know I always recommend using a child theme a lot of themes have custom CSS sections take notes of your current theme and go through it and see if you, what changes you've made if you if you have made any changes try to take notes of those changes another thing to be aware of is the sidebars in your widget areas themes no, don't always have the same sidebar areas so if you have some custom sidebars you'll most likely lose them if you change themes so you want to be aware of that point now also many times people have Google Analytics and there's some other similar products out there that keep track of their site visitors and that sort of thing if you do change themes a lot of times you'll probably have to reinstall your Google Analytics code now your RSS feed many people like FeedBurner RSS feeds configured to use FeedBurner which has really good uh, analytical statistics and stuff for your site your site subscribe RSS feed subscribers so you'll have to reconfigure many times if you change your theme if you're using FeedBurner. And another thing to be to consider anyway is if you are making site you know changes on your main site and you don't want your visitors to come and see all the work in progress you can put your site in what's called maintenance mode and there's a nice plugin that does that for you called WP maintenance mode it has different site uh, screens that your visitors can see when they come to your screens that your site your visitors can see when you're in maintenance mode like here's one they have another one here they have several other ones so it's a nice plugin to use and that way your your site visitors won't see the, the blank screen or whatever they're going to see and what you really want to do after you have changed your themes and that's test site in there just because it makes it a lot easier to do this without any big problems is testing the functionality of your site and all the, see that all the plugins are working the way they should and just everything you know the comment section the post and pages just test as much as you can you probably won't catch it all a lot of times but your site visitors might let you know about that now another thing to think about is 
does the current color scheme if you're going to change your color scheme will that work with your custom uh, sidebars and the graphics that you have now so you might have to do some some configuration with that also and let your readers know your site readers know make a blog post saying hey I'm going to change my site's theme let me know what you think about it and then listen to your site visitors feedback and use that feedback to improve your site alright so now I'm gonna walk you through the process of actually going and changing and changing and installing and activating a new theme here's the current theme I have now it's a demo site that I have we'll go into the WordPress back end you want to go to appearance hover over appearance and click on themes okay the current theme is right here the envision theme by theme fuse let's click on install themes now there's several different ways you can go about installing a new theme if you bought a premium theme from somewhere like a theme forest like you bought a Genesis uh, Studio theme. You have that uh, zip file downloaded to your desktop. To install it on your WordPress site, just click Upload, then click Browse, and then you can browse where you have your theme located. I'm just going to go to my WordPress folder I have here. I'm going to try this one right here and we'll install that and just click install now after you've navigated to the zip file now it has to be a zip file you can't install you know via the dashboard here you have to be a, a zip file your theme is in and we'll just click preview to see what it looks like here if it'll show us anything well it has a lot of the code from the other site uh, so we'd have to do quite a bit of reconfiguration but that's a preview using that theme okay so I'm gonna return to the themes page click on install themes again now there's some other ways to go about you can do a search on the WordPress repository for free themes I'll type in whatever you'd like I typed in business and they'll show you a whole bunch of themes here that are free of course now you have to be uh, careful Careful in installing free themes sometimes. I like to make sure that the author act has support supports the theme and updates them rather than rather than installing a theme that's free, of course, but is going to be needed to be changed in the future just because the author doesn't really support and update it and stuff. Now you can click on featured tab, the featured tab. Generally, these themes are you know really good themes. They're in the WordPress featured area. Responsive theme that's a really popular theme. I've used that a couple times. It's a nice theme. There's, so that's a good way to go about searching for good themes to use. Now I'm going to click on install themes again. I'm going to click on manage themes because I have a. I am going to install the. Well, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to find it first. I was going to install the 2012 theme, but now this is the new 2012. Is I'm going to click install. That's the new WordPress default theme, and I really like it. So in, install now. Okay, I had to have that. Now I'm just going to activate this. You can preview it if you'd like. I'm going to activate it and see what happens here. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to our theme. Of course, it's going to look totally different. It probably won't have the slider in there and everything else. So click on reload and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to have to make quite a bit of changes if we actually want to change this theme from what it is now to the 2012 theme so it'll take quite a bit of configuration looks like some of it did translate over some of the pages did and let's see the menu so anyway that's uh, that's how you change and install and activate a new theme on WordPress now if you do install a theme and you don't like it don't not to worry generally you can just switch right back to your old theme which I'm going to do right now but as I said before it's it's always a really good idea to make a backup just in case something goes wrong now we'll see if it just if anything happened here we're just going to switch right back and it did make a few changes here it looks like I'll have to go back and reconfigure some stuff in this theme we have the special of the day it went back to the default settings so see what I mean about having a backup this is a good example all right, well, so just to make sure you go over that checklist before you do change your theme, just because, right, like, this is an example right here, what can happen? You know, it's nothing major, but it does have some configuration to be done before I can get this theme to look back the way I had it originally. So you guys, uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. Make sure that you uh, favorite the video if you want to come back and view this again. And if you do need any help or have any questions, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on keeping on.